Greetings and welcome to the introduction to physical science. In this video, we are going to look at the waves on a string simulator that we use for our labs here. So let's go ahead and take a look. And if you come up with this screen, you just want to click on play to start the simulation and you will come up with something like this. Now let's look at all of the controls here. First of all, on the left hand side, we have a few different things, which is depends on how you want to start the wave. You can do it manually, which means simply that you move the wave up and down by yourself. So you can grab this and start a wave and start it moving. Now, you can also set up an oscillation. So if you switch to oscillation, then it will run by itself and you can experiment with other things. A pulse will give you one wave. So you send a wave and it will go out and come back. So there are three different things that you can do there. Now on the right hand side on the top, you see that you can either have a fixed end with fixed end where this is clamped down. You can have a loose end where it can move up and down or it can just go out for infinity and it can just keep going out where there is no end. So you may play with various of these as you go through. Now, if you need to pause anything, you can always pause it. You can play it in normal or in slow motion. Now, down toward the bottom, we also have a set of controls here, including amplitude, which is how high the wave will be, the pulse width, how far apart they will be, and then we have the damping and the tension. Now the damping will be how quickly the wave dies out. So if you were to put this to a lot of damping, the wave would die out very quickly. So if we send through a pulse, it dies before it even goes. If we put no damping, then the wave just goes and heads out forever. And in fact, if we change that to say a fixed end and send that same pulse, it will just go back and forth and we'll keep doing that forever because there is no external force now to slow it down. The damping would be the external force. Now the tension is how tight the string is. You can have very high tension or you can have a very loose tension. Now let's go ahead and restart that. And if you have a high tension or a low tension, we can see how that affects things. When you have a low tension, notice how it moves. And again, there's no damping, so it's going to keep going forever. So let's restart that and let's compare that to a high tension. And as we do the high tension, notice how we get a completely different wave here, a much wider wave than we got with the lower tension. And again, that will keep going forever. So let's go ahead and stop it there and restart. And the other things we can look at is there are a couple other things here. There are rulers that you can bring out. So if you want to be able to measure things and you may be asked to do that within the lab to be able to measure something, you can bring out rulers there to use to measure this. There is a timer that you can turn on to start the timer to see how long it takes, for example, for a wave to move and back. And you can put a reference line in. Now this can be moved. So if you want to start how high or low it is above the reference line, you can set that right in the middle. And then you could send a pulse through, pause it, and say exactly how far is that above or below. So we could then measure how far it is from the reference line. And in this case, we can see that it's a few little bit less than one centimeter from that reference line. So those are various different things. The rulers move around easily to let you measure things. And you can move around pretty much everything you need to be able to complete the labs. So I really just wanted to show you some of the controls here so you had a better idea as you work through your lab worksheet. So that concludes this discussion on the Waves on a String lab. We'll be back again next time to discuss another one of our labs. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.